Hey everybody! Happy holidays! Merry Christmas! I'm Michelle with Birdie Bloom and I'm bringing you some holiday colored bags. Boom. So the reason I'm doing this is one, it's Christmas and these red, this red bag and this green bag go great for Christmas, right? All right. But um, this one, this was a requested find and um, it's already sold. It was sold before I found it. So it's going to its um, new home for Christmas. And I wanted to put it in a video because it's just such a beautiful bag and I haven't talked about it yet. So what do I have here? <clears throat> Can you tell just by looking? What I'm bringing you is the duffel sack style number 9085 and the style number 9019 so 9019 Maggie duffel and this would be the largest duffel bag that coach makes and or has made <clears throat> and the smallest boom, boom. vintage I don't know all of the newer bags so they're making um they've done remakes for the duffel I believe it's to represent this bag. Um, and there's a lot of other types of duffels in between. I'm not going to actually go over this bag too much, or at least not the history of it. But um, mainly this is more of a size comparison. So the reason being is I'll show you a little snippet here. This is a, a large or a duffel sack that I'm rehabbing. Um, and as you can see, there's huge color transformation, and that's just from conditioning. But uh, I have a lot to do on this bag. I've actually put it aside. When it is done, I will talk more extensively about the duffel sack. So, <clears throat> what do we have? Number 9085 duffel sack. People list this bag as an extra large duffel sack. They list it as a feed sack. It was not technically called any of those things. Maybe it was designed after a feed sack. Um, so yeah, people call it on the resale market an extra large duffel sack. They call it a feed sack. But here is a catalog photo from 1977. And as you can see, style number 9085 is a duffel sack. That's all they called it. That's all they referred to it as. And it is their largest duffel bag. Um, this particular red, beautiful red duffel sack was made in 1995. Interestingly enough, so it's not the oldest, but I just showed you a catalog photo from 1977. And this one was made in 1995 and has the same style number. It's the exact same bag. Isn't that wild? They made this bag for a long time. It was that amazing. So what does that tell you? Well, you're pro it was popular for one, because if they continue to make it, it's because people continue to buy them. So you're gonna find them, but you're not gonna find them cheap. This is a very pricey bag. Um, so if you do find it cheap, it might be worth scooping up. Um, I didn't find this one cheap and I'm reselling it. I did not, it was not a cheap bag. My one that I'm rehabbing was, but it needs a lot of work. A lot, a lot of work. So, yep. Here, let's uh, crossbody it. Um, I wouldn't like necessarily wear this crossbody, but if you're like needing to put crossbody, you know, uh, just for convenience, maybe you're in the airport. I mean, it works. This is the longest extension, right? Um, Probably I should have put the zipper the other way if I were to do it, but get into stuff, it's high up. It would more just be for um, necessity versus styling the bag. But they're slouchy, they can hold a lot. They're not too heavy. I mean, the leather is thick, but it's not the thickest leather. They're not too heavy without anything in them. So when you, it's just that you can have a lot of stuff. So this would become a very heavy bag and it does have a lot of hardware and this is not like the smaller buckle hardware, you know? So, all right, 
And then you have this guy. <clears throat> I don't know what green this is. I haven't rehabbed this guy yet. Um, I will do a video on the Maggie Duffel more specifically. I'm gonna guess that this is maybe a leaf green, but it's a guess. I don't know. So um, I have a catalog photo here with that list of lime green. Um, I don't recall off the top of my head what year this catalog photo is from. Like I said, I'll talk a little bit more in depth about it, but this is style number 9019. This is Maggie Duffel. This is how she looks on it. She's a small duffel. You can still put a phone though and other necessities. She cross bodies a little bit better for me. <clears throat> though she still has, oop. Hello. <laughs> though she still has the same strap drop, same adjustable strap. I think it's actually the same the same width. No, it's, it's, it's like, <clears throat> excuse me, it's slightly smaller. So, yeah. Great holiday colors though. This is a great Christmas green. I just don't know what it is. I think it might be leaf. Let me know if you know, if you're good with colors. I am not. So I'm gonna have to ask her opinions when I'm ready to get this baby done. But um, yeah, duffel sack. You're looking for them? Good search tools, extra large duffel sack, feed sack, all of that style. 9085, they made them a long time. So you're gonna see pastins, you're gonna see Cree Cree. Um, so where they just have the coach stamp in. <clears throat> I'm trying to think if I've seen one with a coach metal tag. I don't know that I have, but you probably they probably exist. This bag was made for a while. And then your 9019 Maggie Duffel. Well, happy holidays. Thanks for watching. If you liked this uh, content, then subscribe to my channel for more vintage coach bag finds and talks. Um, I also do some rehab videos. Uh, those are a little bit fewer just because they're more involved, but uh, I do want to put more out. So if you have any special requests, uh, maybe about a particular bag or if, because I, I likely have it, honestly, or if you... Um, have any rehab requests, please you know, ask them, talk about it below and uh, I'll try to get to it. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Bye-bye.